one, but this one, he again wanted to repeat it. He wanted maybe like, just wanted to cut that one, but was close to him. And a straight uh, forward catch to keeper Sabah Kareem. They appealed, they thought the batsman would walk, but when he didn't, they had to appeal. And Hudson going for 1933 deliveries, 44 for one. So Jacques Collis comes the wicket, very talented. Number three batsman for South Africa. He was on eight not out yesterday when the game was uh, abandoned due to the rain. We look at some pretty impressive current series stats, averaging 139, 250s, high score of 79, 21 years of age. So it is a very exciting prospect. And this is a good uh, stroke. There should be four in that one. The outfield is still pretty quick. Well, that really was a terrific shot from Gary Kirsten. Just tossed up a little bit more than uh, the first delivery. Infraction wider as well. Kirsten just opening the blade through the gap. Four runs. Very straight, direct approach to this run up. This runs, and it looks like it's four. That's very well timed indeed. Jacques Collis is very strong through the offside of the back foot. Nicely driven by Collis, and this is going to go all the way. Picked the gap nicely, timed it well. Absolutely, it was a lovely shot. Now this is the type of shot I was talking about. How many times do you see batsmen in India cover drive Cumbly like this? Hardly ever. And there's going to be a shy at the stumps and it's going to be overthrows. In fact, there's going to be four of them. Well, that's unfortunate. Nice bit of fielding. And I think you and I agree to disagree on that, Jeffrey. Um, we'll talk about it in a moment. 85 for one. This is a correct stroke. Coming down the wicket and uh, playing the slightly angle of that. And beating point. Good four runs for Callis. And this um, runs. Might be two. Because Kirsten knows that Sheenath cannot throw because of his bad right shoulder. This is good cricket. 100 off for South Africa. Two, the possibility they'll go for the third. Should be four. This time between down the leg side. And this combination of left hand and right hand batsman in the middle, putting a lot of pressure on Ancola. This could have been a good ball to left hand batsman. But when pulling to right hander, just between down a bit on the leg side. This is Kirsten 50, very good 50, he's been batting well in this uh, triangle series, although he did not score many runs except 100 in three test match series, he had a lot of problem against Rishad, but today he applied himself and played a very good inning, and uh, then the slog overcomes, and then he's slogging this one high in the air, this should be out, it could be caught, and straight to Rahul Gravit at deep square leg, a good wicket for India. There were plenty of overs, the run rate was very impressive, was no need to play that shot, but he's given it all away, he's got out, given India just the breakthrough that they were looking for, he's out for 51, 130 for 2. So at the fall of that wicket, Daryl Cullinan comes to the crease, he's also been in pretty good nick throughout this current series, averaging 40, 250s, high score of 73. He's joining Jacques Cullis now, who is at his fluent best. 49 not out, Jacques Cullis. So you now look at Daryl Cullinan's impressive one-day international stats. Averaging 36.75, 1250s, 300s, and 70 matches. Pretty handy. Oh, 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 Big shout from Robin Singh. Oh, oh, yes. And he's given him. Well, that really has surprised everybody, including Jacques Cullis. Well, that was a very good delivery from uh, Robin Singh. Nip back into uh, 
Jacques Callis. Jacques Callis, sorry. Callis trying to play it on the rise. See, it's not driving length, it's on the rise. And he's been given out leg before wicket by Cyril Mitchley. Mitchley taking his time even as he moves away to have a better look at where the ball has gone. Wicket of successive deliveries for Robin Singh. 130 for three. So, two quick wickets for India. Rhodes, Tonti Rhodes comes to the crease. Brilliant. That's an example. Improvisation and I think he's hit it well enough to go for four. Just slowing up a fraction. It's a teaser for the fielder. Goes over the ropes and four runs to Rhodes. Well, this is turning out to be a good over for South Africa because they had two pretty quiet overs. One over in which Robinson claimed two wickets of consecutive deliveries. And this one now going for a boundary here. This is There's the pull shot. He's hit that magnificently. That's six runs. That's a great shot. He does play that shot very, very well, exceedingly well, in fact. Daryl Cullinan, we saw in the Johannesburg Test, the way he continuously pulled and hooked the Indian bowlers this time. The slower one, he's picked it up very quickly, just transferring his weight onto the back foot, just shifting it, really, and whacking it over mid-wicket. There's four more. So, 10 runs off, two deliveries, 30 overs gone, South Africa, 159 for three. Pull shot again, through the hands, and he'll end up picking up two runs to add insult to injury. Probably, he tried his best. Holland, on the cut, he's played that very well indeed, and that's gone for four. Much to the spear of Ancola, but you really cannot bowl short and wide outside off stump to a man of this caliber. Certainly not uh, at uh, Ancola's pace on a pitch like this, which is fairly easy now. It's in the air, cries of catch it, but it's wide of the fielder, and that's gone for four. Very well struck shot from Daryl Cullinan. He was in the air for some time, but it was so well hit and well placed. It's a bit short and he really gets hold of this one. It's going to beat the mid-wicket fielder. Four runs. The wicket is uh, pretty slow now. It's uh, similar to second day's uh, test match wicket. They played here yesterday. And Ancola trying to change his pace. Short delivery. There's plenty of time for Jonty Rose to pull it over mid-wicket. Yes. That's going to go away for four. Very well played. Yeah, very fine stroke. But again, Robinson giving a lot of room to John T. Rhodes. Pitching his shot outside the off stump. There's plenty of room for him to play wide off uh, point. Oh, yes. Oh, he's gone. And he tried to get a little too cute that time, John T. Rhodes. He tried to run it down to third man, play a little late cut shot. It was too close to him. It was too full as well, I think. And uh, dragged onto his stumps. And Tendulkar in his first over gets the breakthrough that India so dearly needed to stop the flow of runs. Just a change of pace. He bowled leg break this time. Then turned it, came into right in batsman. Hit 41, very good runs into three delivery. 221 for four. South African captain Hansi Cronier is the new batsman. You see he's already scored 264 runs in this series. Well, perhaps not uh, because Venkatesh Prasad coming for a fresh spell has knocked back Hansi Cronier's stumps. That's an important wicket. South Africa, of course, have uh, a fairly long batting lineup, but that's a very, very important wicket for India. Well, you're right, it is a quality, and he just sort of played down the wrong line. I think he was uh, catching the train on the underground in London, and he got on the Bakerloo, and he was meant to get on the Piccadilly there, because uh, he's just gone down the wrong way. Sean Pollock coming in to replace Hansi Kronia, the South African skipper, who was bowled by Venkatesh Prasad. Center. 
Look at that average uh, in the currencies for Sean Pollock. 121. And in all one day internationals. Impressive again. 46.83. Oh, yeah. That's out. No doubt about that. Well bowled. Well bowled. Yes, you can look at the umpire. Sean Pollock there. Give a long stare. Couldn't believe it. That was a quick delivery. So they've had to put the lights on and on for a long time. Watch it zip back. Out. Plum. 242 for six now. Maybe a hat trick's on. Two wickets of two balls. In much the same manner that Robin Singh got two wickets of consecutive deliveries, getting Kirsten and Cullis. And now Venkatesh Prasad repeating uh, the act, getting Cronier and Sean Pollock of consecutive deliveries. And that brings Lance Klusner to the crease. for English Prasad but it's turning out to be a good over for India oh yes oh yes he has watching from the other end while wickets were falling can be disconcerting to a well said batsman Daryl Cullen and certainly losing his concentration and his wicket 244 for 7 Dave Richardson, is he playing his repeat 100th match? Oh! Well, that was quick, wasn't it? It wasn't quite in the block goal, but it was quick. I think that was quicker than what Robin Singh bowls. That, you know, zip through that. Well bowled, Anil Kumbli bowled with a lot of experience, a lot of composure at the end there. 266 for 8, and Rudy Bryson comes into bat the last tour of the South African innings. that's a bad ball that's a really good tonk by David Ritchie really good hit but it is not full enough it's a good length ball you really do have to keep your cool and bowl it right in the block hole good innings in the end from David Richardson 15 of 14 deliveries 278 for 8 good start there from Kirsten and Hudson Carlison playing a very impressive innings of 49 but the best innings of the day so far, as far as the South African innings is concerned, 60 by Darrell Cullinan. That partnership with John T. Rose taking the game away from India. India pulling the big target for India. 252 in 40 overs. So someone has to really play a big inning and score runs just very quickly. The man in your picture, Captain Sachin Tendulkar. He's the key man for India today once again. The run rate is 6.3. 3-0 runs per over. And, uh, John Pollock bowling his first delivery. And Gangoli slashing out says Austin. It clearly shows that he is going to go for his cook right from the word go. So Tendoka off the mark with a magnificent boundary. The bullet ball shot, they can get plenty of width outside the off and they can pull it also. Well, you caught it, Jimmy. Too short. Tendulkar is a fine player. And in these days in one-day cricket, you can't get away with that. So two overs gone. India, 16 for none. Tenguli again. It's in the air. Alan Donald could get underneath. It'll be a great catch. It does. It is a magnificent catch. Alan Donald is delighted. So is the crowd. And that's a big breakthrough for South Africa early in the Indian innings. It's a very good wicket. Very good catch uh, by Donald. It's not the easy thing to do when you're playing in under the floodlights. Because once the ball goes up in the air, it's very difficult for a fielder to judge when it's coming down. But uh, it's a magnificent catch, running something like 30 yards to his left and taking and making it very simple. But he gets it, and Ganguly's on his way for five. So the first wicket down for 18. Brings Raul Dravid on strike, number three batsman for India. This is going to pose a major problem throughout the night for the South Africans. It'll make it easier for the Indians. That is one of the best shots I've ever seen in my life, Jimmy. Unbelievable. Tendulkar just giving himself a lot of room and just flaying Porky Bryson through the covers. That's another magnificent shot. It's not an easy shot to play against someone who's bowling around about 140 k's an hour, but Tendulkar did it easily. Four more runs, India 29 for one. 
point, which is quite strange. That is a magnificent shot as well. It has gone like an absolute rocket and almost killed that, that man of point. Unbelievable stuff here. It's a cracking stroke past point. I don't think uh, the fielder would have seen that one. Not really very short this one, but it's hitting on the up. And so much power behind it. Felina had no time even to get away from the stroke. That's a beautiful shot. That is a superb shot. Well in front of square and race to the boundary for four. So a good way to finish the fifth over, India. 39 for one. Well, Tendulkar's got him away this time because they brought up the fine leg into the circle, which means that Donald cannot afford to go anywhere near middle and leg. And he did there, and it was just helped round by Tendulkar for four runs. This is Pollock now with new boots, and he's lashed to the covers by Dravid, and that's going to go for four runs. Dravid, who hit a very good boundary off the last ball, from Pollock's last over when he pulled it through midwicket now he drives through the covers yes that certainly does sound a better proposition this is a full toss from Pollock and it's put away by Dravid through midwicket India have raced to 56 for one that is fairest this is another one through the covers this time by Tendulkar and my goodness me, the South African bowling is being plundered. 61 for one from seven. Dravid goes after Donald and hits it brilliantly. A magnificent pull shot there, uh, Tindorka rather, and it's four runs to midwicket, and it's 68 for one. India, the way they're going, are making look this total of 252 look quite easy at the moment. That's a big shot there by Raul Dravid this time. Imagine hitting Donald over long arm, and that's what he's done. And uh, they're waiting to see whether it's four or six. And there comes the signal from umpire Mitchley, having consulted with the third umpire. It's six. Here at the moment, and this is caught. That's the one they wanted. Bryson has got him at that short fine leg position. And Hansi Cornier has got the vital wicket of Sachin Tendulkar, who was blazing away. And Bryson took the catch. And that's the man they wanted. And the South African captain has dismissed his counterpart. Well, I did say that the slower pace of Cornier is difficult to hit. But I think if Sachin Tendulkar could have said, well, which fielder might I hold out to, I think short fine leg would have been the least likely fielder that he would have hit it to. Wonderful 45, 84 for two. Mohammed Azuruddin is the new batsman with uh, Sachin Tendulkar having just been dismissed. This one playing beautifully off his legs four good runs and of course uh, fast bowler Donald didn't like it when Donald David hit him for a six he said few words to him so I hope the match referee was watching that and this one playing beautifully off his legs picking him nicely rolling his wrist and that's disappointing because it's beaten the fielder too it might have only been one but it's four and 15 overs, gone 109 for two. Carl Gravitz, 50. And that's been a quality innings as well, you know, 44 balls. It was easy uh, for his innings to be overawed, so to speak, by that of Saxon Town Dulkers. And it really has been a quality innings from this young batsman. So from here, I think they have to work on run a ball. Respectability. Brilliant running. To see our critic ratings, the latest. Ozzy Macram up top with 83 and 
Alex Stewart coming to the reckoning. He's in fine form at the moment. 65 points, just two behind Mohan Khan and Sachin Tendulkar on 67 each. That's a huge hit, but not as huge as I thought. When it left the bat, I thought he was going right out of Kingsmead. But it's still a very good shot for India. And four more to Azruddin. Richardson was standing back. That also gave the opportunity to Azaruddin to come down the wicket. And it went very high in the air. It looks as if the moment he hit that one would go into the stand. Well, that's terrific fielding uh, from the South Africans. I don't think uh, Azaruddin quite middled that one in his first four overs, but doesn't mean to say his next four are going to be a little bit better. Once again, terrific running between the wickets. Uh, they have picked out Andrew Hudson, the slowest of the South African fielders. Every time the ball goes to him, they go for the extra run. India's 150 coming out. 131 balls in 98 minutes. Was that a plane? Was that Superman? Or was that John T. Rhodes? Oh, ho, 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 ho. what a shot. After 23 overs, 159 for two. What a catch. Just a a loose shot again from Mamad Azaruddin. He's been batting so well right out of this series, but uh, occasionally his concentration has let him down. This time playing it just a little bit in the air. Look at that catch. 165 for three. He'll be out of his heads. John T. Rhodes it was again. Absolutely outstanding. G loves his cricket. Today, you really had to get back as smartly as possible there. This is good cricket, not really timing, diving to his left, getting into position and throwing. Pitch it directly, no, Jadeja is well in. Here's one of those boundaries, that is a fine strike. Over mid on, four runs, went to the boundary like a rocket, and that's a terrific way to end the over for India. So, after 29, India 185 for three wickets. There's a field run underneath that, but it's cleared him. The man in the crowd also put the catch down. So six runs to India. Magnificent shot. Another great way to end the over. 194 for three. Short and wide, Jadeja gets underneath, there's a field underneath it as well, and Jadeja is on his way. So first ball back from Lance Klusner, Henry Hudson takes a very good catch. He was obviously a little bit unsighted at the end, but made up good ground, and took it, and Jadeja, uh, Jadeja is out, and India lose their fourth. That's a very good wicket for South Africa. Jadeja playing away from his body. Jadeja going for 80, 90 deliveries, 198 for four. So, Jimmy, maybe there's going to be a game on here. Another quick wicket will certainly make a game. And uh, there should be two here. Long chase for Hudson. This is what they have to really do with Hensi because the ball is soft and he's bowling just medium and the ball is really coming onto the bat. So, I think the best thing got to be slightly careful will drag it him in there. It's in the air and another magnificent catch by Kirsten diving to his right. It's a very good wicket for South Africa. Yes, this is a terrific catch. That's the only way Rahul Dravid would have got out. He's played a superb innings, a capital innings. 
full of great shots very well judged ones and twos just making a little bit of room to play it on the onside he had the right idea but Gary Kirsten taking that inches from the turf 84 is what drive we've got 210 for five Saba Karim is the new man in he's played some good inning on this tour he's a very useful middle order batsman in the side is uh, getting wicked off Rahul Dravid has definitely put some pressure on Indian batsmen because the two new batsmen in the middle pressure will be more on South Africa he's going for one coming for the second will be problem no it's good running tremendous running Robin Singh Going for a single straight away and there should be close one. It's a direct hit. Going to a danger end. Robin Singh. Robin Singh feel that uh, he is out. He started walking towards the the pavilion. It's a good piece of feeling from Kronier moving very quickly and picking it up. And there it goes. Run out for 15. India 224 for 6. Shrinath. He has played some good innings in the past. And they would love to like to play him another quick one here. And another one gone. Right in the block hole. Give him some room. The South Africans lost two wickets of consecutive deliveries twice in their innings. And now the Indians losing two wickets of consecutive deliveries. Alan Donald's taken a pounding in this innings from Tendulkar and Dravid. But this time Sabakari making room to play his favorite shot on the offside. Missing it completely and he's bowled. And now it does look as if it's not going to be the day for India. 224 for 7. Two wickets in two deliveries. Sali Lankola is the new man in. Not only has to score runs, but to prevent uh, Alan Donald to take a hat-trick. And another one, a hat-trick! Three in three, it's not a hat-trick because although it got three wickets have fallen in three delivery, first was the run out, but he's picked up two in the next two. But one can say they have picked up three wickets in three deliveries. Not so Salil Ankola, India 224 for eight. Anil Kumble is the new batsman. There should be a couple of here. And now he's four. Good four runs here. Slicing past point. Does Kumble play with a slightly open face bat? Nearly gone through. And third empire again. Once again in action here by Lance Klusner firstly to bowl that Yorker because he knew that Srinath was going to really go for the belter and then kicking the ball Anil Kumble down and pick it up and that's the indicator that red light showing that Kumble was just marginally short but that's good enough for him to be shown the way back to the pavilion Another good piece of fielding, 6 in 5, 230 for 9. Last man in, Bangladesh Prashad. He's not been the best of number 11 players. And he's hitting right up in the air and could be possible that uh, for another catch. It's a great catch and South Africa won the cup. Kalinan had to run something like 30 yards. It was high in the air for a long, long time. This catch. Srinath knowing that he has to go for the big hits. Not quite getting hold of it. Ball is in the air. It gives Alinan the time to get to it. And look at that catch. Terrific catch. And what a comeback for Alan Dunn. That is the India target because it was tail because of rain they had to get 240 251 to win 
in 40 overs. They bowled out in 39.2. Once again, Kepin Tendulkar gave a very good start to India. Great. Very fine inning, stroke, full inning, all round the wicket, 45 and 33 deliveries. Rahul Dravid changes game. All together, attack back from the beginning, 84 in 94, very good inning, but got out at a crucial time. Ahmad Azaruddin once again, Jamal Fering 45 and 44, Jadeja 18 got out at a crucial time. That's the time I think he had to stick around with Rahul Dravid, the things were going fine for India. Robin Singh ran out for 15 and after that, nobody really could. And Donald. And now this beautiful trophy and a cheque for 50,000 Rand to be presented by Mr. Holloway to South Africa's captain, Hansi Cronier. Can I just say to Sachin and his team, thank you for a tremendous summer of cricket and we wish them well on their journey and also to Standard Bank, fantastic uh, sponsorship of this marvellous first season. And also to all the wonderful people that stayed behind in the rain, we really appreciate it. Thank you very much.